this is the Wednesday video. This is a um, true horror story about the lumberjack. About four minutes long. Without further ado, let's get into this video. My name is Lewis, and I live in Switzerland. This story happened five years ago during the winter holidays. It was an icy cold day, and the snow was falling continuously. So we had to warm the house all day long with the firewood, putting okay. it into the fireplace. My dad told us all the time that we should take care of the firewood. However, for the next days, we didn't do anything but just played Nintendo. Eventually, we noticed late around 9 p.m. that we had run out of wood. No curtains? Dad got Nothing angry. On my That's the fireplace. So, as a punishment, he sent me and my older sister to the local lumberjack who was famous in the area. His shop was located one and a half kilometers away from our house. He was a really tall guy with a long beard and wore a black and white lumberjack shirt as a classic lumberjack. Anyway, at first he seemed very talkative. We ordered two bags full of wood, which were about 50 kilograms. He said, Okay, hold on. It'll take about 15 minutes to cut and wrap everything. All of a sudden, my sister had to go to the restroom. He said that he would let her know where the toilet is, so she followed him. Okay. I was waiting for about 15 minutes, and then I noticed the place was silent. I saw neither my sister nor the man. I called my sister's name, but there was no answer. Then I got a message from my dad that if we bought the wood, then we should come home immediately. According to the local news, the police are looking for a serial killer in the village 50 kilometers from here. Dad also attached a picture, and unfortunately, he looked very similar to the lumberjack. My heart dropped. I wanted to scream, but then he came with the bag of wood suddenly. He was smiling, but I could feel that something was weird. He looked joyful. Please, ask me where's your sister, he said and winked at me. She's certainly not far away from you. Blood. Then I noticed the red stains on his shirt. Can't stop it. I nervously opened the wood sack. Stop it, cat. And the pink Over hair here. clip of my sister. Oh came my out. god, really? The pink hair clip, seriously? I was full of anger. Uh, I grabbed my trying to mess with all my strength and hit the man. Good. He screamed and fell on the floor. And I pulled out my pocket knife and stabbed him. Oh, damn. Two or three, many times. Suddenly, I heard a loud scream out of nowhere. Stop, Lewis! It was my sister. That was a prank! She was crying. I, I couldn't think straight. My head was what? all messed up. What have I done? I killed the wrong guy. I dropped the knife and stared at his cold body. But then I recognized that I had no time. I knew that we had to get rid of this body quickly while we were still alone in the shop without employees or customers. So I quickly looked around and found a hidden room, which was locked. We kicked the door and pushed him inside. And we were about to turn on the light in the room to find a cover, but then what I found was a huge shock. The room was full of people who had been cut in several pieces, and the floor was covered with blood. So here's the killer. The lumberjack was the real serial killer. We were so terrified that we quickly covered him with some fabric and then ran out of the shop. We ran home as fast as we could. My dad asked us what happened, but we couldn't tell our parents anything. Since that day, we always made sure that we keep enough wood before the heavy snow. Yeah, I hope so. But I'm still wondering if the police found all the bodies at that shop. Okay, so what I've gathered is that the lumberjack was the killer, but I don't get it. Like, he said it was a joke. Like, I guess they thought it was a joke, and then I guess he actually was a killer. So it's like you joke about him being a killer, which actually was a killer, but then you say it was a joke, and then you're like, oh my god, what have I done? And then when you hide the body, then you find out he's actually a killer. That, am I gathered? Did I get all that right? Or am I just stupid? I don't know if I got that right or not, but wow. Who would have thought of that? Because I did not think that. I did not expect them to say, oh, it's a prank. Like, really? Who the fuck pranks like that? Are you stupid? Pret uh, pret uh, pretending someone's a serial killer? And pretending someone's about to, like, kill you or something? Really? Of course you're going to defend yourself. If, if you think your life's in danger. Stupid. Oh my god, stupid people, man, joke about way too many, like, things that's not to joke about, you know? Like, fucking stupid, man. Well, that's that, I guess.
two, four, six. Okay. That's going to be it for this video. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like this video if you, if you did like it. And be sure to turn on post notifications if you have any suggestions. Be sure to drop them down below, and I'll get to them ASAP. Thanks for watching. Peace out.